hey what's up guys welcome back to the choreography design training this morning i want to show you how to make a rotation effect on kind master please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos let's start with today's tutorial Decography skills with creativity. Yeah, good day guys. Welcome back to Decography Design Training. Hope you guys is doing amazing. Great. Yeah, this uh, moment I want to share with you how you can make a rotation effect on KineMaster using your smartphone. This is a big lesson on its own. You can actually you have been watching or looking at how they move the background while the object are still standing or tacking image picture are still tacking while the background is moving today i will show you how it will be how you can apply the rotational effect on any kind of a video clip for a professional editing so without wasting much of our time let's dive into that this is a kind master interface. Click on create new, then select the kind of size you want. Click the background. Now rotate the back, move the background to 24 seconds. Good. Now click OK. Tap on the layer media. Then we will import all the video clip one after the other. Don't let it exceed 9 seconds. The first clip. Now tapping on the media, go to export. Bring the second clip. Don't let it exact the same length, making a thing. Now we're going to the third one, spotting, then we position, and everything plumb like this. Good. Now, the, what we are going to do is to make sure that all these fit to the screen. Let's make sure that it all fits to the screen. Very good. So now that we have this, we tap on the first one and we click on the animation key. After clicking on it, we are going to reduce the size like this. Then we rotate. You can see. We rotate. On getting here, well, the next thing we are going to do is to make sure that. Uh, is to make sure that uh, we make it fit to the screen. Very good. Now we are moving this, moving it to the edge. Click on animation keyframe. Then after that, we are reducing this. We reduce it, then we are going to rotate, rotate to return to normal. After that, we are going to zoom it out like this, zoom it out like this. Very good. Then we tap OK. Now let's see the work and see how it shown. So we have this. Very good, very good, very good. So we have this. I want to check something. trying to adjust there should not be any loophole so that is what I'm correcting so let's see now
okay very good now i think there should not be net uh, tap on it then move it to this side then increase the length a little bit <coughs> now move it back position it very well good so let's see now for the last time let's move it back increase the size a bit now let's position it well so it should be okay like this See now, yeah, perfect, 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 very good. So, just adjust this more. Can't take from adjust. So, this is absolutely okay. This is okay, yeah, everything right. So now we are clicking on the second one and we are repeating the same process. So we reduce the size here, rotate it. You can see. Then after that, we are going to zoom it out like this. Then you can still zoom it more. Now we will move it back to where it belongs. So we move it back exactly like this. So let me do some more. So let me do this and see. Very good. So immediately you got here, you click on animation keyframe then we are going to reduce the size reduce the size very well so at this juncture we are going to rotate it back to normal so then we will position it well and we are going to move it just scale it out like this then we we'll mark so let's look at it Let's start the adjustment from here. Let's see. So, which means we'll move it back. We need to rotate more. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Very good very very good very good very good so now at this level what we are going to do next is to uh, we click on our we cut out this we cut it into two then this first one after tapping it we'll go to reverse so we, we allow it to reverse very good completed so now as it is let's look at how it will work very good very good very good very good very good so let's look at this area very well very good so now what we're going to do next is to 
Mm. You click on the keyframe here, then we reduce, try to rotate, then we enlarge it back. As you can see, we going to enlarge, then we we'll position it well. Position it well, then we we'll move to the hash. So we click the animation keyframe. We are going to reduce the sizes exactly like this position well then we will complete the rotation back to normal now at this level we are going to zoom out again like this we zoom out then position well now we are going to click ok mark let play you can see let's see So what we need to do, let's back a little bit, I want to change that stuff. Yeah, I'm not cutting it out, split it again. What I'm going to do is to repeat the previous process, then I will reduce the size there, rotate rotate exactly like this then now we increase the size and we zoom it out so after achieving this the next thing is to move it to the edge tap then reduce the size reduce the size then complete the rotation as you can see position it well then zoom it out exactly like this so now that these have been done we click mark let's play and see whether there is no error so you can actually see then i've discovered one you can move it down then replay and let's see there should not be any loop -o. okay so what i will do now is to just enlarge zoom out a bit again so make this come here and play again and let's see very good very good so now that we have that what we're going to do next is to just look at the edge here then we are going to divide into two so after dividing it we are going to tap on one we'll go to reverse then we will reverse it reverse completed so now let's play and see can actually see the work very good very good fine so now let's trim the the background to rhyme with the video clip so after that let's put a finishing touch here so at this junction what we're going to do is to add that uh, so we'll be looking at it play to this area then we click on this and we go to effect then kaleidoscope effect we are going to add that so we we'll bring it here you can actually see very good so then what we are going to do we tap on it go to the settings then we we'll reduce the strength to one you can see good so let let's play it and see let's play it So you can actually see very good very good so as it is now we will test it to just this one so let me let me see whether there will be a kind of uh, adjustment very good let's see very good so now as it is the next thing i want to do i will just go to my text area so we go to my text area then i will have bend the word so let me see uh, sorry. 
Deco. What? So we tap on OK. We increase the size. Go to the font selection. Then let's select a museum font here. Let's look at this. Or let's look at Roboto. Roboto, OK. Very good. Now let's adjust the text. Go to the text options. Then we'll scroll down the character or the line. So let's look at it. The line should, should close. Very good. So now what we're going to do is to reduce the size position it at this corner. So let's go to the text option. Then we have this being crazy a little bit. So we can actually position this here. Then we have to reduce this size. Very good. So as it is now, let's replay and see. So let's add some effect to the text. Go to animation, then click on slide in. Very good. So let's tap on it. So the text should be the next the let the effect i mean the clip starts showing before the text will come up very good very good so as it is <coughs> excuse as it is now we are going to the sticker then we are bringing cinematic uh, opening so let's look at that so we are selecting the second one let's see third one fourth one fifth one Sixth one, so this I really done very good. So let me move it to the hash here. Let it be the hash. Then let actually now play it. Very good. Very very good. Very good. This is cinematic opening. Very very good. Very good. So one needs to be adjusted there. We have a cinematic opening. It should be uh, the text should be there. So let's replay again. Yeah, cool. Perfect, perfect. Now let's add the audio clip. So I need, I had a song which I normally use. So let's use a, a song on the music. Put music. Let's check. I need to go to album. Download. Then this. Play and say cool. It's actually okay. You can trim here by going and click the scissors to trim. Now replay and let's see. Very good, this is a nice work. Go to saving HD 17 Check the size, it's just a 6 megabyte. So we can actually go to there to make it 15. To make it 15, then we compress later. So we'll go to this. Let me increase it to something like 20 or uh, 25. So we'll compress it later. So this is how you can actually make a rotation effect on a kind master. Thank you for watching. Hope we will learn something useful today. See you in the next class.